It's been over a year and a half since I moved to New York City, and in that time, I've yet to have gone to Staten Island. But today, I will rectify that issue. I'm on the Staten Island Ferry now. It's not just seeing Staten Island, but it's also the view, the way there, that I'm really looking forward to. It's a beautiful day out. Hopefully, it gets good pictures. I have made it to Staten Island. Now I can say I've officially set foot in all five of New York City's boroughs. First off, the Staten Island ferry ride. That was awesome. The views, the pictures I was able to take, that made this day already worth it. It's completely free. It took maybe about 25 minutes, but I mean, it just, the time just flew by. The views of Lower Manhattan, the Statue of Liberty, Jersey City, everything was just so awesome. It's not very often that I say positive things about New York City's public transportation system. All right, it's time to start exploring Staten Island. Now I'm mainly gonna be exploring the area where I am right now, the St. George neighborhood of Staten Island. First thing I wanna find is food. I've been walking around for a little bit now, really enjoying my time here in St. George. Didn't find any restaurants really. I didn't plan anything out. This was very spontaneous this day. But I did see like an Italian restaurant, sort of a pizza place. So we'll see how that is. I just want something quick because all I really want to do is just explore this area, take advantage of this wonderful weather, get some photos, and enjoy my time here. All right, got a few random slices. These look pretty interesting. One is a big slice. It's pretty decent. Not bad. So the fig slice is pretty nice. Got a good sweetness. Always love figs. Pretty unique. Really like the calamari slice most of all. I mean, the calamari, nice, salty, fried. Really good, toppings, everything else really solid. I mean, this is a good slice. It's not the easiest thing to eat. You know, for choosing a restaurant randomly, this has actually turned out to be pretty nice. All right, so lunch was pretty solid. Now I'm on the hunt for caffeine and, you know, there's a lot of hills in this area. So while Staten Island is part of New York City, I don't get that New York City vibe here. It's its own unique place. I'm enjoying my walk and everything though. I wish coffee was more readily available, but uh, hopefully we'll find some. You see, it's symbols like this, the symbol for New York City's public parks that remind me I'm still in NYC. There are some really beautiful homes here in Staten Island. Unfortunately, that means I'm getting distracted. I should be focused on getting coffee, but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna find any in this residential area I'm in. Wow, these homes are so beautiful. Such a pleasant neighborhood, but I really gotta get back on track. I need caffeine, it's a priority. Otherwise, headaches are in my future. I need that now. Let's find some caffeine immediately. But hold on, look at this rose bush. It is beautiful. Okay, back to coffee. All right, just got some coffee, Dunkin' Donuts. You know, I like supporting small businesses though, but this was an emergency. I needed my coffee, couldn't find anything else, so this will have to do. And there's nothing wrong with Dunkin'. 
So I made it to the waterfront here. I'm finally enjoying my dose of caffeine. So I'm also gonna be doing a little reading here. I got Anthony Bourdain's last book. God, I miss him. Just started it so far, pretty decent. Just did a little walking around the Empire Outlet Mall. It seems to be one of the top sites of the area. It's a very nice mall, outdoors, very modern. Decent number of stores, although it's very big and it seemed to be very empty. There were a lot of vacant storefronts, but it definitely has some potential in the future and I could see it being a really happening place. Plus, it already has a Shake Shack. All right, so my plan now is to walk along this beautiful waterfront here and see what I find. Plus, just look how far away I am from Lower Manhattan. Sometimes I feel like I just forget how big New York City really is. Just found the Staten Island September 11th Memorial. It's a big, beautiful, bold white sculpture that perfectly frames the lower Manhattan skyline. Really, really nice. All right, so the waterfront here is not as big as I thought it'd be. Maybe it's larger. I mean, there's just a lot of construction around here, so could be areas I'm not seeing that are just blocked off. Anyways, I'm just gonna wander about. I mean, I didn't really have a plan at all to begin with today. So I'm just gonna see what I find. You know, you win some, you lose some. But either way, I'm enjoying myself today, seeing some new sights regardless if they're good or bad, and, you know, can't complain. Also, I've got to mention, at least compared to other parts of New York, this is not crowded at all. I mean, it is almost desolate, eerily so. I mean, that's of course good or bad, depending on how you look at it. Found another little park here along the waterfront. It's kind of pleasant. Could use a bit of landscaping and some TLC, but it's a nice area. The views are pretty good. Still good views of Lower Manhattan, although there are some industrial views as well. But yeah, very enjoyable walk, like in Staten Island so far. I'll say it again, pretty epic hills here in St. George of Staten Island. I'm indeed getting a workout today. Really enjoying my wanderings right now. I'm in a sort of residential area. Lots of beautiful homes. The way how they're elevated on these hills really makes some stunning sights. Spotted this really cool Art Deco detail on this apartment building right here. Pretty neat. I noticed a lot of people on the ferry this morning were just there for the ride, for the views, and they were hopping on the next ferry out right as we got to Staten Island. It's quite a shame because St. George has some nice areas to walk and see because I'm really enjoying these residential areas. The homes are just beautiful, really old, very interesting architecturally, very, very pleasant. I think now though I'm going to head to the ferry because it's getting late, got to get home, got some work left to do, but uh, it's been a good day so far. Back in Manhattan, very pleasant ferry ride. A little windy, but still very pleasant. Views amazing, sun's kind of setting now. Absolutely beautiful. So the important thing of today is that I can finally say that I've stepped foot in all five boroughs of New York City. And St. George of Staten Island is a very pleasant place. I really enjoyed myself there. Although it is very different from New York's other boroughs. And there's so much more to see of Staten Island. Next time, I'll go in with a plan, be a little more focused, have uh, food places in mind. But either way, today was a really great day. Glad I can finally say I've been to Staten Island and all five New York City boroughs.